Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Tija Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Spring and Animals. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we'll be talking about simple past tense and prepositions Now, boys and girls, let us start our lesson by going to page 14. On page 14, we are going to be doing simple past tense. It says, the simple past tense expresses an action that happened, meaning all the words that we're going to use are words to show that it has already happened. For the most of the verbs we use, E D is at the end of the word to show the past. So we're going to do two together. We're going to do number nine and number 10. Let's take a look. Now I've written them already on the board and we are going to actually work them out together. It says, number nine, the dog bark at the mailman. Now, the word we have to change in brackets is the word bark. So, all we have to do is add an ed to the word to make it simple past tense. And then, also, our sentence will be correct. So, we are going to write the word on the line, and I want you to follow me. We have the word first. And then, we are going to add an e and D. So now the word has changed from bark to barked. We can now read the sentence without using the one in the brackets. The dog barked at the mailman. So all we need to do is rewrite the word and add the E and the D at the end to make it simple past tense. Let's try the next one, number 10. It says, Peter toss the frisbee onto the roof. Now, frisbee is a nice toy that we throw to each other. And it's very flat, it looks like a plate. And unfortunately, it says Peter threw it onto the roof. So, <clears throat> The word that we're looking at is the word toss. We're going to now write it correctly. And then after writing it, we will add ED. So we start with our beginning sound or letter T. 
and then we continue and then we add e d very good now the word has changed from toss to tossed because it's changed it's showing that the action already happened in the past let's now read our sentence again peter tossed the frisbee onto the roof well done so remember it's very simple all we do is take the word that is in brackets and then we put it on the line and we add ed take your time for that one and read all the sentences out loud make sure that you answer them correctly after that we have our prepositions on the next page page 15. On page 15, we have a fun activity with our prepositions. It's going to be our job to cut out the apples and place them in the correct position. So, we need to do two things. First of all, to cut out our apples. And then the second is to place them by pasting them in the right place. I'm going to help you with only one apple. The apple that says below. So let's take a look at the tree that we have, very similar to the one that is in your booklet. I have a very beautiful tree. It's green and it's got brown. It's very lovely. So I need to place an apple below the tree. So if it is below the tree, Prepositions, remember, help us show where something is. So, if below means under the tree, that means I will draw my apple right here. And that also means you will paste your apple, the one that says below, under the tree. So, now we know we have done the correct thing for one of the apples. The other apples, my boys and girls, use the tree to help you know where they're supposed to be. We have the word on, off, above, below, right, and left, and beside. Take your time when you're cutting and take your time when you are trying to paste your apples. Don't rush. Have fun and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, but I know that you had fun with me today. Remember, if you're not sure what to do, you can always ask an adult for help, but just make sure that you finish your work by yourselves. So now that we're done with our exercises, we need to sanitize our hands. Remember, we sanitize to try and keep not just ourselves, but everyone around us safe so sanitize every time you can and remind the people around you to sanitize as well make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else i think i saw a little blue head sneaking up on me <laughs> hello sashi how are you i'm sure you had a nice day wonderful so from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.